up, K Block Party? Hope y'all having a great Monday, and I hope you enjoyed tonight's episode of the Soccer Sedan. I do want to point out that Stu Holden was very generous in his time throughout the video. We had a few interruptions, just people trying to call him, and uh, we even had some idiot trying to take my stuff, as you'll see in the video. We were not able to do the show here in the car for a handful of reasons, but we did do it on the streets of New York at the Steve Nash foundation charity soccer event it was a great time he did agree to do a little bit of a street challenge at the party there so we were able to do that all right so here we are with uh Stu holden here Stu, what do you want to say uh i'm ready ready to dominate right now Go! what's up i'm k -Buck. this is Stu holden and this is the soccer stand special edition we are in new york Stu, how you feeling I'm feeling good, man. You know, I've had a long day of soccer out there today, mm -hmm. and I'm just getting fired up now. I'm ready to, ready to dominate. Excellent. So I will ask you a group stage full of questions all the way to the knockout round in the final. Because this is for charity at the Steve Nash Charity Event, we are going to give away $25 to charity in your name for every Sweet. question you get right. All right. I'm, well, you better get your checkbook out. <laughs> Bro, it's 2018. Everyone pays with credit cards. Okay. Get your uh, Venmo. <laughs> So you want to go for a ride in the soccer sedan that's outside, and it's we're, we're in a car, okay? Yeah, we are, yeah. I'm driving right now. <laughs> Great, let's go for a ride in the soccer sedan! <laughs> All right, Stu, so we got the pot of balls here. Uh, go ahead, All reach right. in there, pick a team, and just show the camera who oh. you get, please. How do I show it? How do I open it? Uh, I got you, bro. Oh, there we go. Wait, open! Come on! This is, is this part of the quiz? I got it. All right, I have La France. Ah, France. France. Allez, les Bleus. Allez, les Bleus. Excellent. So the Blues, that is who you have. Excellent. Here we go. Question one. Les Bleus. Here we go. So France at the World Cup. They've been somewhat successful. They have a bean finalist. Of course, they've won a championship. And they have two bronze medals. They've also won two European Cups. But their lone World Cup championship came on home soil in 1998 when they beat a powerhouse country by the score of 3 0. Question one in the soccer stand What country did France beat? To Brazil. Win the World Cup? Brazil. Goal! Yes, that is the right answer. Winner. In. Come on, man, let's get the next one. Oh, okay. <laughs> no problem, we'll get right to the next one. One of France's star players is Paul Pogba. He's got a lot of flashy hair, flashy lifestyle, and he even came up with a goal celebration that kind of went viral. What goal celebration did Paul Pogba come up with? Oh, is it the, the uh, Pog, did the Bug dance or something? Was it like, or was he, did he dab? Okay, so what's your answer? Or you could even show us. Pog, the Pog dance. <laughs> I think I'm wrong. Oh, yeah. You, you. Dang. What was it? Dab! Oh, so I did have it. Should have gone with my other thought. Hey, can you at least stab for the camera, Ash? There you go. Okay. Well, not the right answer, but don't worry. It's a foul. And by answering the first question right, you did get the 50-50 ball, which will help you in the group stage. Question three. France has not had a lot of heavy defeats in its history. However, their heaviest defeat came back more than 100 years ago at the 1908 Summer Olympics when they lost to a country by the score of 17 to 1. Wow. That country got second place in the tournament and will be meeting France in the group stage. What country gave France its biggest defeat ever? Oh, man. Not Australia. Uh, Peru. You're going to go with Peru? Peru. I'm going with Peru. Peru. Stu, that's not the right answer. Ah, who is it? It was Denmark. Denmark. Ah, oh, man. I'm striking out over here. You got a yellow card in the group stage, too. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm still alive. One more wrong, you're out. You're going to have to walk home because we are in the <laughs> car, bro. So, and look, there is the, uh, the, you got a long way home, bro. See the, uh... yeah, I can get on the, uh, get on the subway. <laughs> Getting ready there if I, if I get one more wrong. So you saw the 16. That means we are in the knockout rounds now. Question four. We all remember back in 2006 when Zinedine Zidane headbutted a player, but more importantly, that never would have happened if Italy 
did not score a goal in that match. They equalized after Zidane had a very clever chip on Gigi Buffon. What player scored Italy's goal in the 2006? Italy or France's? Italy. Italy's. What player scored for Italy? And now you're going to get multiple choice, so no need to worry. Is the answer A, Mauro Cameronese? B, Gennaro Gattuso? C, Marco Materazzi? Or D, Andrea Pirlo? Okay, so as I was saying at the beginning of the video, we had a guy try to interrupt us. He pretty much just tried to take my stuff for no reason. So, uh, so the camera cut out. I accidentally hit the stop recording button when that happened, and... After all that was sorted, here is what happened. Who are you gonna go with, Stu? A. No. Materazzi. Gonna go with Marco Materazzi. Yeah. Goal! Oh, yes! Marco Materazzi, well done. Everyone remembers the headbutt? Yep, he got headbutt and scored a goal for Italy. Yeah, what a day for him. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Question five, still got the 50-50 ball. France has had a lot of interesting politics go on behind the scenes. One of their most political figures has been Michel Platini. Platini uh, was asked to step down or was banned by FIFA, you know, from UEFA. So that was in 2015. But he was a fantastic player, second all time yep. on France's top scoring list. The questions do Which of the following clubs did Michel Platini not play for? Is the answer A, Real Madrid, B, Juventus, C, Nancy Laurent or D Saint Etienne. I'll do my 50-50. Gonna go with the 50-50 ball. Okay, we're yeah. gonna take away two of the incorrect answers right now. Leaving us with Saint Etienne and Real Madrid. Which one did Michel Platini never play for? Real Madrid. Oh yes! Yes! Well done. Well done. We're going to get to the semifinal now. So, semifinal time. Here it is. In 2010, at the World Cup, France had a very controversial moment. Of course, they drew with Uruguay, and they lost to Mexico, leaving things very, pretty much they had a, a foot back on the plane home. Now, before their final group stage match, the team refused to practice after the French Football Federation banned what player? Patrice Evra. Do you want the multiple choice? No. I'm gonna go with Patrice Evra. Yeah. Is that right? Am I out? That is a red card for Stu Holden. Ah, oh, man, I felt so good about that one. I didn't even get to the multiple choice. I should have waited. It was Nicholas Anelka. Anelka, yeah. Former Bolton player in Chelsea. Disappointed. Sorry about that. Stu, uh, you have a red card in the soccer sedan. Well, thanks for having me. Um, My pleasure. Yeah. Thank you, Stu. Yeah. We Thank you, man. A pleasure. Next time, I'm going to study up and... I haven't done all my preparation for the World Cup this year, so I'll, next time I'll make it to the final. Absolutely. Well, hey, we want to thank Stu so much for his time, for supporting a great cause. He won some great cash for the Steve Nash Foundation. There is the number on the screen. We're going to donate in Stu Holden's name. Woohoo! And most importantly, Stu, you want to tell him, tell him keep the ball rolling. On keep this. the ball rolling, baby. Donate stevenashfoundation.org slash shield. And the link is in the description, of course. Normally we have seven questions at least, so here's the question we didn't ask, and we're going to do a little bit of a flashback. Those of you that watched the St. Patrick's Day episode a while ago will know the answer. Here it is. The Republic of Ireland has not qualified for a World Cup since 2002. They just missed out on making the 2010 World Cup after Thierry Henry illegally handled the ball in his opponent's penalty area. What player converted Henry's pass to send Ireland crashing out of qualifiers and became known as one of the most controversial moments in soccer. Was it A, Patrice Evra, B, William Gallus, C, Kareem Benzema, or D, Florent Maluda? <laughs> well, I will go with A, Patrice Evra. I'm running sprints, aren't I? On the line! It was B, William Gallus. All right, everyone. Well, I don't know if you got that one right, but let me know in the comments. Did you get more than soccer superstar and Fox Sports pundit Stu Holman? If so, post in the comments. If you didn't, I hope you guys liked this video. Thank you so much. I cannot do it without your support. 
and means a ton to me. My name is Kevin O'Blocky. If you're new here, you can call me K-Block. The one and three, they make a B. Don't call me K-13 Lock. Reserve player. That's what I'm going to say now, like reserve player, because there's like first team subs, reserves. Don't be a reserve. I'm K-Block. And most importantly, please subscribe if you could and keep the ball rolling on this while we go. But let's see ya.